I hope this is working. Okay, I see some people are joining. <laughs> um. okay. So it is 6.01. Um, I'm going to give it maybe like a minute or so. Let some more people join. Um. Hello everyone. <laughs> I've never done a Facebook Live before, so this is very interesting. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna give it one more minute to let people join. Um, see, I don't have to. Okay, got nine people. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, so I'm just gonna start talking. Um, maybe more people join. So my name is Peyton Marie. Um, I've been at the Arts Academy since um, I've been in seventh grade. So it's kind of hard to imagine a life without it because I've been doing it for like so many years. <laughs> um, and it's become like a really big part of my life. Um, and I'm gonna, so I'll be like talking in between songs too. And I'll be like explaining like, my why how I write my originals, which I'll be doing my originals at the end. Um and so yeah, I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna play a song. So this first song it is um actually in Spanish. So I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> um it's not my first language. Um but it's so so pretty and I thought I would try something different. And so it's would usually be played on a Spanish like guitar with like nylon strings and stuff, I don't have that. <laughs> so if I do mess up, um, that's most likely why. Um, and it is called La Jarona um, by Angela Aguilar. Um, I have no clue if I pronounced that right. Um, so yeah, if I, if I pronounce anything wrong, it's because Spanish is not my first language, but I thought it'd be really cool to try something different and I love this song. So. Um, the first one I'll be doing is La Jarona. <laughs> Sabías de un templo un día, Jarona, cuando el pasar, yo te vi. Sabías de un templo día, Jarona, cuando el pasar, yo te vi. Era mozo y pide baja, Jarona, que la virgen. Hermoso y pije babas, ya no la que la virgen te creí. Ay de mí, ya no la, ya no la, ya no la, de un campo lirio. Ay de mí, ya no la, ya no la, ya no la. 
corona de un campo lirio. El que no sabe de morre y llora una no sabe lo que es martirio. El que no sabe de morre y llora una no sabe lo que es martirio. So that was La Llorona. Um, I had I learned this within the past um, few, the past week, <laughs> and if it was a little rusty, that was why. Um, also, it was in Spanish, so that's a little tricky. But it was something different, so I thought um, I would start off with that because I thought it was really pretty. And yeah, so that's La Llorona by Angela Aguilar. So if you like that, um, go check it out because it's a really cool song. So the next cover I'm going to do is. Where the Boys Are by um, Connie Francis, and <laughs> I love Connie Francis. And I had I had asked my mom <laughs> if she knew who Connie Francis was. She did, <laughs> um, and she was surprised that I knew Where the Boys Are by Connie Francis. So I love sixties music, and um, I'll be um, explaining more of this later. But I have an EP that's coming out um, early June, kind of late May. Um, so I'm, with the whole pandemic going on, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> when it's going to be out, but that's the goal. And uh, there's a song on there that is in like a 60s style called, um, Blue Valentine. I won't be playing it today, but it's on there. So you should definitely go check it out once it's released. But I really love this style of music. So I thought, why not play it? So this one is Where the Boys Are by Connie Francis. tune I'm gonna do and before I go on to my originals now that more people have joined I'm gonna talk about um like <laughs> how long I've been to Arts Academy and all that kind of stuff so I said in the beginning a little bit but you know <laughs> so I started at the Arts Academy in seventh grade um through my middle school 
and honestly, I would not be where I am today without the experiences it has taught me, um, because I want to go into music, you know, and I've learned so much just by, like, working with the bands in the rock band pro program, because, like, when you, like, go into music and, like, you play gigs, you mess up a lot, you know, and I feel like doing this, like, for so long since, like, seventh grade, it's kind of, like, taught me how to fix my mistakes while performing, you know, because I could, I would be, like, 14 year old, 14 years old performing at my middle school gym, you know, and I messed up, and I would have to learn how to, like, like, offset that mess up, you know, so it's, like, it's a really, um, really, what's the word, important <laughs> experience, especially if you do want to go into music, because, learning how to fix your mistakes while performing and even how to set everything up and tear everything down. You know, you don't get that, um, like, knowledge until you actually experience it yourself, which is why another reason why I would not be where I am without the rock band program, you know? So that's um, how I correlate with the Arts Academy. And, yeah, so I'm going to do two originals that are going to be on my EP um, coming up in a month or so. I'm kind of aiming for, like, early, early June, um, obviously my schedule got sidetracked with everything, but it's okay, and I, before I get into it, I'm gonna explain, like, why I wrote the songs and, like, the, kind of the, um, inspiration behind them, so before getting into songwriting, I wanted to be an author and stuff, so I was, like, writing, um, stories, and so I had always, um, had a tie to music, and, but I just, I wanted to be an author, and then, throughout my sophomore year, I kind of realized that that's not really what I, what I wanted to do. And so I wrote this song called Liar Liar. And I had written songs in the past, but this is the first song that actually, I guess, stuck, if that makes sense. And then I showed it to my band, and a lot of people liked it. So then we kept playing it and stuff. And so that's kind of where that sparks that kind of for me. And I realized, wow, I want to go into music. I really like songwriting. I like writing all the words, all the music, and like the production of it. I love all that. That's what I want to do. So I kind of learned more about myself in that process of being, hey, I don't want to be an author. I want to be a songwriter. So how I wrote this song, I have a piano here if you can't see it. How I wrote this song is that it's so Liar Liar is basically about, I guess you got cheated on. It's a relationship. Liar Liar, words on fire, such a shame. You're an ugly crier, you know. And I had never, when I wrote this last February, I had never been cheated on. I hadn't even really been in a relationship at all. But I was just kind of like lying there in bed and all the like best ideas, I always get like why as I fall asleep. And so I was thinking of like liar, liar, you know, like pants on fire, like that kind of like nurse, nursery rhyme, rhyme, that saying. And I was like, how can I change that? And so that kind of like built more on. And how I write my songs a lot is I find like a rhyme of a word. And then as soon as I see a rhyme, that I like, like my mind kind of goes through different phrases or sentences. Um, and that's kind of how this song was born. I just kept like keeping in that mindset and then I kept like, getting the rhymes, getting the rhythm, getting the melody. And I wrote it in like a night, <laughs> just like lying there. So this is Liar Liar and it's gonna be on my EP come up, coming up. So, and it's one of the, it's the first song I showed my bands at the Arts Academy. So it's really cool. It's kind of like my first like, actual like song I've written so hopefully you guys can hear that okay uh so here is Liar Liar by me
isn't actually what I play on um, so it's kind of the it's my really, really old one so I'm not exactly used to playing on it <laughs> um, it's keys are different than my other one so hopefully you guys like that um, so that's Liar Liar um, yeah it's like one of the first originals I've ever written and it'll be on my EP so um, yeah there's that <laughs> the second one I'll be playing for you guys is called Grow Up and this one Honestly, I feel like I have these ideas and they kind of just pop into my head and then like I write them down and if I actually feel inspired to like go through with them, um, that's what I kind of do. And so like grow up, right, kind of just like pop into my head, but I feel like the one song that like, um, no actually, yeah, one of the one songs that I actually had an idea just like based on something like that like happened to me, I guess. Oh, probably like Blue Valentine. Blue Valentine I wrote on Valentine's Day last February. Again, I got the idea and I was like, oh, Blue Valentine, you know, because like I didn't have a relationship or anything. So it was like, ooh, you know, so that's kind of the Blue Valentine. That's kind of where I got um, that inspiration for. And then it kind of turned into a 60s song. So <laughs> I'm not going to be playing that one today, but I just thought the inspiration behind that was kind of cool. Um, and so this one, Grow Up, the last one I'm going to be playing for you guys. This one, okay, so these are very, very stripped down. Um, and this song's about kind of like growing up and like, you know, you can like complain and you can be like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. But it's like, you know, sometimes you got to grow up and you, you just got to do it, you know? And so like, um, sorry we broke up, but in my life, you're runner up. And it's kind of like, that. those were lyrics, by the way, from the song. And it's kind of like, um, you kind of have to have yourself first. I talk about that a lot in this song, how, like, I come first. Like, me and my future comes first. And it's time to grow up and just, like, do it, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get into it. I hope I'm not talking too much for you guys. <laughs> but that's kind of the backstory behind this. So, yeah, this one's called Grow Up. <laughs> Hey, oh, 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 oh,
Changing my plans, now no it's hard to understand. But my future comes before a man, yes it do. Maybe I'll move somewhere where the sun shines on broken places to where there's expensive places. So yeah, that was another original. And so that's all I have um, planned for today. But before I go, I want to um, talk a little bit more about the Arts Academy and how important it is to me. So um, like I said before, um, the experiences you get with the Arts Academy being in the rock band program is um, priceless. <laughs> I, I can never think of the word priceless. Um, and if you're like, if you're not sure on whether you want to join or not definitely do because like if you and if you if you don't like music or you don't like live music then at least then at least you know you know but it's such an amazing program and like, I'm totally honored that I joined it I guess um and <laughs> that my middle school teacher showed it to me because I would not be who I am today without it and I would not know everything I know today without it and I would probably not go into music um because it's kind of inspired me now with every, everything i've learned over the years that i can go into music and it's kind of given me that knowledge you know and it's really important because you especially like growing up and doing it as a young person um because like when you like a lot of people like they join bands like once they like graduate or they do it in college and stuff but like there's nothing around here in this area that's for like kids, you know? Um, and that's why this again is so important because it's not only is it the rock band program, there's like music lessons and there's art classes and there's like, there's something for everyone there, you know? And I think the arts are so important. I love the arts, obviously, as you can tell. And personally, I think, yeah, I think the arts are the greatest. And, um, and, if, and if you don't have music, if you don't have art, 
you need that you need that outlet, you know? And the Arts Academy is an outlet for creative people and creative young kids to kind of go and discover who they are and who they want to be. So if you're not interested in the rock band program, there's a bunch of other things, you know, that you can do. And I, yeah, I, I'm sure there's other kids um, there and in the same program as I am who can agree that they wouldn't be where they're at if it wasn't for it, you know? Because it's taught us so much. So I would definitely recommend becoming a member and um, not to, like, you don't have to join the rock band program. You can join any of the, anything, you know? Because there's something for everyone. I'm kind of repeating myself. <laughs> Um, I get nervous talking like this, um, but yeah, I think I think Arts Academy is great. I love it, and it's helped out like a lot of people like me with like know knowing what I want to do with life and just kind of learning all of that. So yeah, that's what I have to say <laughs> with everything. Um, I love it. I love all of. It. I love music. Um, if you weren't here earlier, I have an EP that's coming out late May, early June. I know I've been saying it a lot. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that was some originals from the last two, the first two were covers. I really hope you guys enjoyed this live. I've never done anything like this before, so, um, I'm kind of nervous, but yeah, I, that's, that's all I got for you guys. So I, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. See ya.